Rotating an object in Revit means spinning it around a point. Now, to rotate an object in Revit, the first thing we'll need to do is select on the different objects that maybe we wanted to rotate. Now, in order to do this, I could do it inside of this 3D view, but it'd be a little bit difficult to tell where our rotation point is going to be at. So I always like to do that once again inside of a plan view. So I'm going to come over here to our level 2 view, which shows our different beams. And we're going to go ahead and select on this, this, and this. So we're going to select on three different objects at the same time. To do that, just move your mouse over into this quadrant right here. When I say quadrant, I mean between these two lines. And go ahead and click right about here and hold your mouse button down. Move it over here and do a window around these three different beams. And you can go ahead and let go once they're all highlighted. Now, once it's there, we're going to use the rotate command, which looks like a circular arrow going around, sort of representing a rotation. Now go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice right off the bat that this little dot shows up. Now if we don't do anything with that dot, then the next thing that we can do is we can either type in an angle right here. For instance, if I would type in 45 and then just hit the enter key on the keyboard, we'll notice how it automatically rotated these around to a 45 degree angle. And right now they're still selected. If instead of typing in the 45, when we executed this command, and I'm just gonna click on that rotate command again, we had instead just moved this line either straight up and down or straight to the side, clicked, and then moved up. We then could have had a visual reference of an angle, and we could have either rotated this around a 45 degree angle, or we could even type in whatever degree angle that we wanted to be able to rotate this around. For instance, if we wanted this to be 30 degrees from where it sits right now, we could just type in 30, and now we can see that's a 30 degree rotation from where it sat before. Now, if that was not the point that we wanted to rotate it around, we can go ahead and move that base point for our rotation so it's in a spot that makes more sense for the rotation. To do that, make sure your objects are highlighted, click Rotate, and instead of leaving it here in the center, click and hold your mouse button down, and then move over until you get to wherever you want your base point to be at. In this case, I want my base point to be at the intersection of these two different columns, so I'm just going to let go. Now, if I wanted to type in an angle, once again, I could. Another thing to know, though, is that I like to do this. It's if I want these to be straight, or if I want to be able to just visually know that I'm going to go straight across or at a certain angle, oftentimes, after I've picked this first base point, I'll go perpendicular with whatever the object is I'm getting ready to rotate. So in this case, I'm just going to pick a point somewhere along this line. So that'll be perpendicular to this point. Then, rotate it up and it'll snap to those degree increments. So this could be 90 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever the case may be. In this case, it's a 15 degree increment, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click. By doing that, it rotated around this base point, 15 degrees up. And if we take a look at it, we can now see that all these have rotated themselves around that base point that I specified. To recap, rotating an object in Revit consists of picking a point to rotate the objects around and then specifying how much of a rotation you'd like to give it.